Hello everyone. I am geared up to not buy any more yarn until I have worked my stash. Yes, that's right. I am doing a hashtag work my stash 2023. I know y'all went and bought the sales from Hobby Lobby, the clearance sale from Hobby Lobby. I spent way too much money and it is sitting on the shelves over there, you know, behind me, covered up with stuff. <laughs> um, but it's just sitting there and I want to get rid of it. So, not get rid of it, I want to use it. So, I have created hashtag work my stash 2023. It's hashtag W-O-R-K capital M capital Y stash S-T-A-S-H 2023. So if you got in on all the bargain sales at Christmas time, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and the Hobby Lobby clearance sale, come along with me. Hello everyone, Ivy B here. How are you? Um, I am coming on here today. First, I'm going to put my hand lotion on and I like Forever Red. Love this stuff. I'm going to put a little hand lotion on. Um, so what's everybody up to today? What's on your hook? And this is Tuesday, so it's going to go out Wednesday. So it's, um, whip it Wednesday so it's what are you working on so I'm gonna do Monday and Tuesday Wednesday and Friday and I'm not liking this video the way it's turning out at all period so all right so I have decided that I have been watching YouTube's uh, yarn hauls and every time I see something new I'm out at the store gotta go get it and I'm gonna have it so to the point that I have so much yarn now that I need to work my stash so I've created my own little hashtag. Um, it might be out there. I'm not for sure, but it's something that I'm doing myself. It's work my stash 2023. All right. Um, I have so much yarn that I had to vacuum pack the yarn um, per yarn label. Like if it's Hobby Lobby, um, DK, I bought just about every one there is, meaning I bought two to four of each one. So I have at least a thousand yards of each. So yeah, but it's not just, oh, let's just do pink or purple or blue or green. No, I have to get every color because I don't want to drive another 30 minutes to go and see if they still have it okay so <clears throat> if I'm there I buy it and I buy at least a thousand yards of each color so I've spent a lot of money on yarn all right so what I want to do is work my stash and it's going to be it started January and I picked out two um, two categories okay one is cotton so the cotton one is uh, is everybody did the Hobby Lobby 
when this was I think like 57 cents now this is just some okay I just threw some in here to hold it up and make it look kind of pretty okay so what I'm gonna do with this is every day I have a challenge it is 300 uh, hashtag 365 washcloths making a washcloth does not take that long about 30 minutes okay so every day I will take about 30 minutes to make one washcloth it doesn't have to be fancy it doesn't have to be anything in particular but so I'm going to show you one and I have um, as you can see right here this purple and white is the waffle stitch so I decided to do the pattern, um, my patterns that I have in the washcloths. So here is one. It's just a washcloth. This one is pink, of course, and it's in the waffle stitch. Let me see if I can get a true color. Probably not, but that's okay. But anyway, there's a washcloth. And like I said, it's not nothing fancy. It's for the house and it's I'm using up my yarn. It's just sitting there. There's no reason to have it just sit there. Use it up. So this washcloth is seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches. It was only 26 stitches across. So that's what the back looks like and if you have a little hanger thing in your sink you can hang it on that but anyway so there you go that's just one now I've done my week already three now I've done one two three this this was my first one but not only that is I have a stitch book I want to learn, I know quite a bit of stitches, but what I'm saying is I have this book here. It's 500 stitches. Well, if there's 500 stitches in here, I can get 365 washcloths out of here using these stitches. And that's what I plan to do. So if anybody wants to do that with me and then you have this book, Let's do the washcloth, 365 washcloths this year. And like I said, it only takes 30 minutes to do a washcloth. And you don't have to put any trim on it, just do a single crochet around it, and you're done. I think that's a good idea. So that's my cotton that I'm going to do. And I got my notes down here, so forgive me. Okay, so. The second one is I'm going to use up some acrylic. And like I said, I ain't went out and bought any. I have this here. So my second one is, can you guess this one? Of course. Some people might. Others won't. So this is my second one. So every day, this is going to be inspired by... Um, Sandrine, she did the Alabama cloud stitch um, afghan. I think it's an afghan. She may have a blanket, but anyway. So, it inspired me because I'm a big Alabama fan too, and I liked it. So, this is a whip in progress, and it will probably take me about two weeks to get this done. I don't know. I'm going to try to work different things so that I have one that is a, a product produced which makes me feel good at the end of the day that I actually accomplished something and then something in progress okay so I'll show you that in progress what it looks like so far and here's what it looks like so far Alabama colors are white and gray red and white and sometimes gray sometimes black so that is what I have started it is 60 
65, no, 66 inches long, and it's going to be 67 inches high. So yeah, I'm happy with that. That's going to be beautiful when I finish that. And that's because of Sandrine, what I saw on hers. And you guys, it's thundering, so hopefully I can get through this. Okay, and then the third thing is I'm going to produce a novelty of some sort. And I don't know what happened to my novelty. Oh, there it is. A novelty, meaning I'm going to just do something small, just to use up scrap yarn is what it is. So I made this a while back and I really liked it. So I decided that I'm going to do novelty. So it might be a rose. There you go. It might be a rose. Or it might be a little pillow. I've, I've seen a lot of things that I might want to do. Just little, little things. They don't have to be lots of things. Here is another. This is a credit card thing for your purse. Each side has a pocket on it. This one is done in the star stitch. Yeah. And it's made out of cotton. So that's what I said. It's going to be a little small stop. So I encourage other folks, all content creators that are crocheters or knitters, is I want to do a contest. Uh, not a contest. Let's let's just uh, work my stash 2020-23. Hashtag <laughs> work my stash 2023. So here's what I want you to do. And I'm going to insert some pictures on show me a picture of what you're going to work down this month or whatever. Um, kind of put it in a, a thing like that, like I had. Show me what you're going to work, your stash that you're going to use. And then at the end of the week, show me what you made out of that stash. At the end of the month, I am going to give away a $25 gift certificate. It can be an Amazon or it can be um, PayPal. I can work with you any way you want to if you want a store coupon. Because um, frankly, I'm not into giving you yarn and then turn around and pay 11 or $12 to ship it when I got this for $7.99 probably on sale $8.99 $6.99 who knows and then I turn around and spent $11 to ship it to you or five six dollars whatever it doesn't matter the thing is that extra money could help you go buy your own yarn or go buy pay a bill whatever so I'd like for everybody to jump onto it. So the first prize is $25 certificate. And what I'm going to do for this video, in this video only, it will run until next Friday, which will be, let me see, next Friday will be Friday the 13th. Wow. Is leave a comment on this video. Okay, and you will have a choice between a pair of earrings. Okay, and this is going to be for comments. You have to leave a comment. Okay, so the first earrings, like I said, you'll have a choice between them. Here's the first pair of earrings. Okay, and here is the second pair of earrings. You will have a choice between the two. And it's based on a comment. I will use the, use the YouTube comment picker. So, there's the two earrings that you will get. 
this won't cost me much to ship so i'd rather ship something that's not going to cost an arm and a leg but um i hope um you will enjoy them as much as i enjoy making them so there you go show me a picture of your uh work my stash together and then um, show me a picture of what you worked out of your sash. Leave a comment for the earrings and leave a comment for the $25. That's going for the end of the month. You will get in an entry. You can email me at IBB uh, yeah. <laughs> creates at AOL.com and I will put you on the wheel with your makes and yes all the YouTube rules apply you must be 18 no one is affiliated with this I am doing this all on my own my husband helps me um, don't know what else to say oh so let's talk about what this is my um, finished project. I'm very glad that it is over with. I have spent a long time on this. This started out with MJ's on the hook crochet. And I did not have, thank you phone. I did not have enough yarn to complete it. So I ripped it all the way out and then I decided no I didn't have enough to complete it so I put out there that I needed this certain yarn to complete this <clears throat> sorry about the thunder um, Miss Tankster was the one that sent me some unfortunately it was not the right one so I decided to rip it out and redo this so it started off with MJ's crochet uh, MJ's on the hook crochet and I ended up just doing half of half well come up with my own but used her starting point of how to get a waffle stitch started because I had not done the waffle stitch well I it was this one the purple one and I have several other of the waffle stitches they're hanging down there but you can't see them but I did the waffle stitch and I was doing all these at the same time so that's how that got started so I've rattled on now for 16 minutes I'm not sure if I made any sense whatsoever so anyway check this video out give me a thumbs up and let me see work my uh, hashtag work my stash my it's work a w o r k a capital m capital y stash s t a s h 2023 and let's see what you how much of your stash you can work down thank you for watching and don't forget to leave a comment and send me those pictures at ibbcreates at aol.com and the rain is about to hit. Thank you.